rather them than me. Moving on now, a creation of colour, substance and abstract form. It's part of an exhibition entitled Meta Tags at the Stella Art Foundation in Moscow. This event draws insight into philosophy of art and highlights the postmodernist vision of creativity. Nick Paul went to the gallery to see this extraordinary exhibition. Take a look. Lev Kezin takes his audiences through a postmodernist journey. How his art pieces turn out is an enigma in itself as to how the viewers perceive them. This type of art represents freedom in approach and interpretation. I don't try to achieve some kind of anticipated effect of results from the beginning of my work. For me, it's more meaningful to improvise. Improvisation in structures and form is a process in itself. In my opinion, artists need an interesting process while creating a piece of artwork. I want the process of creation to be interesting for me every time I will try something new. One can say that Kezin's art pieces are abstract and do not depict anything. It is impossible to say for sure if his works are paintings or objects. They have a base and a layer of paint like other paintings, but the size of this layer of paint exceeds every norm of painting. His work also lacks the strict geometrical borders of the traditionally framed canvas. Yes, I don't work with watercolors, oil paints, or any other classical material. This results in more questions from the viewers, so they want to ask more and to know more about the paintings. Kizan's work resembles lumps of colored substance. Physically, it is semi-transparent silicone combined with certain pigments, but visually it is something quite different. The colors blend together with the texture so well that the viewer needs to spend some time thinking about how the artist came up with the ideas. Color for me is like a verbal language. Color and form can give impulse of feeling that cannot be explained by words simply. Sometimes it just happens that I create harmony in my colors. Other times I attempt to create disharmony because disharmony is also interesting. Kizan's artworks are free to open interpretation and he wants his audience to see the art for themselves. Since there are no strict boundaries to his creativity, he also does not set limitations on what the audience should perceive. What matters for me is the reality. The reality is the process of creating art. The form is the reality. I won't even use the term abstract art to discuss about my work. Kesson's original and daring approach to art served as an eye-opener for the Moscow audience on the first day of the exhibition, Metatags. Nick Poole, RT.